What's up guys, it's a real UGC, I'm UGC Crazed and welcome to episode number one of my manager mode on FIFA 14 on the Xbox One. It's been such a long time since I made FIFA videos, I'm so glad to be making them again. Um, as you guys know, I did used to record using a HD PVR, which unfortunately you cannot use with the Xbox One, so I've had to go out and buy myself an Elgato, which to be honest I'm absolutely loving, it's a hell of a lot better than the HD PVR ever was. It records in a much better quality and the software is so much easier to use, so editing and recording footage is... It just makes the whole process a lot simpler and a lot quicker. So yeah guys, I expect more regular videos from me, especially on the FIFA side of things. I'm currently starting with a manager mode career, however I will be doing some ultimate team again, as well as some coin giveaways and some squad builders as well, so keep your eyes peeled for those on my channel. Uh, so what I'm going to be basically doing on this manager mode is I'm starting off with Wolverhampton Wanderers. They're a League One side and they are doing absolutely shocking. However, we are expected to get automatic promotion out of the league, straight back to the Championship. And personally, I want to get promoted again the next year and take them to the Premier League. That may take a lot of doing as I have decided to go on world-class difficulty, but we'll see who we get on. If we do struggle too much, then obviously we might drop it down. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen at the moment are offers that I receive for players that are already in my club. I've decided to clear out a lot of the old stuff and try and bring as many of my new players in as I can. I haven't looked online or anything before and to see which are the best players that level up and whatnot. I'm purely winging it. I'm using the scout, so I've managed to get some kind of bonus that I get a world-class scout for my first season. So I'm utilising him and just scouting the world, pretty much trying to find the best players I physically can for each position until I lose him next year. So if I can fill my shortlist up with amazing young players who've got a lot of potential, then I won't have to worry too much next season when I'm in the championship about filling up the squad and things. A lot of the players you're seeing on the screen now, I will go through them in the next episode in more detail. Uh, these are players I'm just trying to pick up for as cheap as possible that are quite young, that I think will grow into much better players. Obviously the way it all works now, you don't get to see their overall rating, but when you skip them you can see their stats, so it gives you a bit of a feel really for what kind of level they're at. And usually by how much their club value them at depends, kind of gives you a, a better idea of how good they're going to be for your club. So for instance, this guy here is out of contract. I decided to give him a blast and see how good he was, and he turned out to be absolutely awful. However, this guy who only cost 170 grand, his overall rating is really bad, but he actually plays really consistently. Uh, this guy here, I managed to pick him up for about 900 grand. He's called, I think it's Schwartz. He actually is a really good player. Um, he's obviously not going to be able to stack up in the big leagues, but for a League One player, he fits into the club really nicely. And it's the same here with Falk Jensen. He's a cam. He's only 21 years old. His overall rating's not too bad as well. He's got a lot of pace, so he's really good for building up counter attacks and things. So I think I'm going to really enjoy playing with some of these new players that I've got in the team and using some of the old ones as well, obviously. I'm going to do a bit of rotation and just see if I can level them up a bit and get the values up. Worst case scenario is I'll level them up over this season and sell them on when I hit the championship and bring in some bigger talent. Um, so what I'm playing now, I'm going to play the three friendly games. I'm pretty much only going to show you the goals. There's a couple of chances I'm showing you, such as this one here. I personally I really enjoyed this shot. Um, this was his very first touch of the ball for Schwartz, uh, and he nearly scored like that. So I was just like, yep, I've got to show that in the video. But yeah, I'm pretty much just going to show the goals and... Just the friendlies aren't really much competitive wise, they're pretty much just a bit of a mess around. Test your players and see who you've brought who was worth the money and who's pretty rubbish I suppose. So I am going to be testing all the players out. You can see the awful ratings of the players at the end of each game. Look, you see Schwartz did a really good game there. I only won 1-0 but I think it was against Dynamo Moscow. If I, I think it was Dynamo Moscow on that game anyway. You get some really random friendlies if I'm honest so it's quite hard to keep track of who you're playing against. But yeah, they're pretty much the goals. A lot of my goals I've noticed aren't coming from my up front. Um, I've got quite a strong midfield, um, mainly defensively in midfield, if that makes any sense. Like my CDM positions and things, they're very strong. Um, so up front, I may need to get another player in. I'm going to see how I get on for the first few games and see if I struggle with quantity of goals, really. I don't obviously want to be having games and I'm only winning 1-0. I was going to do it on professional, I decided to go for world class at the very last second, so I really need to make sure I'm getting those goals and taking my chances. 
But I do manage to get three goals in this game, which is really, you can see again, another excellent performance from Schwartz, getting an 8.2. A lot of good position, a lot of good rating, sorry, across the board for all the different positions, which is really good. All these friendlies, they add up to your form, so your players will play better when you do actually go into the main season, which is good. So getting the ratings up now, getting the goals and things like that, they might not be worth anything on your stats, but they are really good for the individual players, the morale and things like that. So it is worth rotating the squad as well. As, as good as it is to stick with one, you should always use your subs if possible and not only rest your players, but let the others play to just get them the extra XP and just level up a bit better. And you can see there, just drilling the ball into the top corner. That was an excellent goal. And there's just there's some of the players that you buy for so cheap just turn out to be so good. It's just crazy. I mean, look at that one guy, 170 grand, and he's only scored two goals for me. He's just an absolute beast. It's just so good when you find little bargains like that. I mean, you probably won't play every game because it's a low level, but you never know. But yeah, that's the episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. Next one, I will be moving on into the league game, so you will see more of that. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit subscribe. See you next episode. Cheers.